I'm Frank, and today I'm going to demonstrate to you the treatment of a failed chest segment. As always, when treating any casualty, you'll go through your primary survey and call 999 and 112. Signs and symptoms of a failed chest segment are severe chest pain, signs of blunt force trauma, paradoxical movement of the chest cavity, low SpO2, and the casualty would be in severe respiratory distress. Once you discover that the casualty has a flared chest segment, you can give the casualty autotherapy and pain relief. As always, when given any medication, you can go through your indications, contraindications, and the six hours of medication. Okay, we're just going to give you some oxygen there to make it a bit more comfortable. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. We're going to give the casualty 100% autotherapy at 15 liters per minute. Once you've exposed and examined the site of the injury, you can place a nice pack over the site of the injury to give the casualty some mild relief. The casualty can assist you by holding this in place. The treatment of the flare segment will need to be splinted before ALS arrives. Splitting the segment will prevent further paradoxical movement and relieve some of the pain for the casualty. To do this, we're going to use our trauma bandage, or emergency bandage, place it horizontally over the segment, and tie it in place using three triangular bandages. Firstly, remove the ice pack. Place your trauma bandage over the affected area. And again, if you have a second responder with you, he can aid you in this, or again, get the casualty to hold it in place. Taking your first triangle advantage, encourage the casualty to slowly sit up, bring it around. And tie it off at the bottom area of the affected segment. Ensuring that you don't tie it too tight. Same again with the second bandage. Nice and slowly. Thank you. At this point, you tell the casualty to remove his hand, as you now have the second bandage which will hold the splinting in place. Lastly, the third bandage, so we want the top part of the trauma bandage over the affected area. It's important to monitor the patient's vitals until ALS arrives. 